Well, howdy folks, welcome back to Rod's Fishing Adventures. We're out on the Mississippi River today. We're gonna do a little catfishing, a real easy way to catch these channel cat. We're not after anything big. We're just after eater catfish. But we're gonna be using uh, stink bait and stink bait worms. It's a real simple method. I'll show you how we do it and come along with me. We'll see if we can catch a few catfish. This is what I got on this pole folks. It's just a, I call it a drop rig. You got your, I tie a swivel on up there with a palomar knot and hook my uh, stink bait worm on and then uh, a weight down there at the bottom that holds that up off the bottom a little bit the other one has just got a simple carolina rig on it uh either way it works so that's how i got them set up got him that time Ooh, that's a pretty good fish. Feels like a pretty good fish anyway. Not bad. First one. That's a good eater fish. I had a couple bites before this and I kept missing them. And then hooks, uh, treble hook was bent in a little bit. I bent it out and got him. Pretty nice little fish. Good pan size. It's always best too, I find, to before you add more bait to these, is to dry them off so it, it sticks a little better if you dry them off. Oh, we got a good one here, folks. It sure feels like a good one. It's a pretty light pole though. Oh yeah, about the same size as that one. He's a good one though. That's a good eater. <clears throat> oh, he's all tangled up in that thing. Another good eater. Getting warm on that shed, this long sleeve shirt. It was about 50 degrees this morning when I started out. Got him. Ooh. That feels like a pretty good one, but like I said, this pole's kind of limber, so make for a good fight. Yeah, ain't a real big one, but... Oh, he swallowed it. A little bit smaller than my other two, but... I don't know if I'm gonna... Got another one. Mm. 
Ooh. There's a fire here. They gone. Oh, heck yeah. Good one. I'm gonna have to start fishing with one pole. Too busy. That's a good one there, real nice one. He swallowed it too. Another one swallowed it. Very big. Might send him back. Oh, he got a big. Yeah, he's going back. He got some kind of big sore on his side. He got sore on the side, he ain't very big anyway. Another good one. Good eater. That's what we're after. Good eaters. You don't catch a lot of, you, you can catch bigger fish on these. I've caught seven, eight pound blues with it, but most times it's just little good pan sized fiddlers, which are great eating. There is another one. I've been plump fit. I got him. Hang on here. <laughs> I'll put you on speaker. All right. All right, bye. I was on the phone with my buddy Carl. You've, he's been in a few of my videos and getting plump bit up here. Good one. That's a good one. Heck yeah. That's a real good one. No. Well, oh, come on. There you go, folks. Another good one. Three, six. That's seven in the bucket. So this is a real easy technique to catch these catfish. The stink bait, just a Carolina rig. Stink bait worms. I use triple S. Used to be called Sunnies. It's about the best I've ever used, in my opinion. I'm not a sponsored by them or anything. I bought it with my own money, but it's about the best there is, I believe. Like I said, in my opinion. Let's go 
feels like a decent one. It ain't real big. Keeper. Good pan size one. That's what we're after, is eaters. I'm getting bit on this other pole. This is a good fish, feels like. This is a limber pole, so it could be fooling me. Oh yeah, that's a good one. He swallowed her too. That's a good fish. One of the bigger ones today. Been on both rods. Got him. And he swallowed it. Good fish though. I don't know if you people know, but I don't catch nothing but big ones. <laughs> he might be, he might be five inches long. I don't know how he bit. These little dudes like this are the ones that are dangerous. They'll get you a real good fin you. Big one, big one won't fin you like that. But. Started reeling this in, I think it got a fish on it. Never even felt him bite or seen him bite. That's a pretty nice one. You just reach up and grab hold and sit there with it. A decent fish. A nice channel. A nice little panfish. Fiddler. There he's real 
small. Yep, I missed him. Nope, I didn't miss him. <laughs> I don't even know how he was pulling on that pole. Look at that. That was smaller than the one the earlier one today. It was about four or five inches long. This dick, this guy's maybe maybe three. He much longer than my finger there. <laughs> I don't even know how that guy bit. Little bee fella. Got him. I don't think he's real big. He's not. In fact, he's pretty small. But I believe I'm going to call her a day on that one, folks. And remember, it's a pretty simple technique technique to do stink bait stink bait worms great way to get kids on some catfish and uh remember if you like these videos please subscribe hit that thumbs up button share it with all your friends and family i'd sure appreciate it and god bless y'all there he is